Hey there, StarCraft fans, it's Dr. Baladin coming at you with yet another edition of Circuit Brood War Remaster. Today it's going to be a TBT featuring Rush and Light. Here on Neodark Origin, this reached the level of a DEFCON 1 replay by RJB, who sent me the replay. Top left is going to be a blue Terran. It is Light. Maybe the best Terran player in the world, and in the bottom right, it's going to be Rush. Another excellent ASL qualifying Terran who has made it to the finals, but has not won one. Let me go ahead and fact check that for you guys, right? Rush, Brood War, da 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 da, results on Liquipedia. <laughs> In his portrait, he's doing a thumbs down. I don't know why. <laughs> yeah, second place in a team battle. ASL's uh, 14 and 12, he got second place. Uh, first place in a team league, which I don't count. And yeah, so back in 2022 and 2021, he took second place in ASL season 14 and 12, respectively. So yeah, so basically the second best player in the world, if you like ASL. So TVT in the new millennium. Wait, new millennium starts at the year 2000, right? Uh, new decade? 2020 through 2030? Ah, got a little bit of a proxy here from Rush going on. Light. Are we, are we saving up for a command center first? Oh my gosh. On a two-player map and a TVT? What the? Yep, so it's command center first versus proxy on a two-player map. Uh, okay, Light, I think this is a build order loss, but let's go ahead and see how you hold off Marines inside your natural when you don't have a barracks. <laughs> oh my gosh. What? Oh, this hurts. Dude, and it's not even a four-player map. What is going on? It's like, well, if I build the barracks right here, I can wall off against the lings that are coming. There are no lings, you idiot. This is a TVT. They are ranged units. Oh my gosh, Marines in production already. Barracks not even 20% complete. SCV Steve on the scout out. He's going to see Rush's SCV get up here. He wants to... Oh, they just want to fight. I was going to say, are we blocking? No, it's SCV fights. It is SCV fights. Zappity zap, 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 zap. Nobody... Ow. Yeah, Light doesn't like how this is going for him. He's going to lose this thing unless he, you know, he does get out of there. Another SCV comes and he sees the barracks timing, sees the command center timing, and says, huh, you know what? This might go super well. Surprise! It's Marines! And they're earlier than you expect them to be because they came from a proxy. Yep, so now we got to pull the boys because there's nothing else to stop this Marine other than SCVs right now. Oh, my goodness to gracious. Now two Marines are here. It's twice as dangerous. Surprised that nothing's died yet. None of Light's SCVs have died. He's done a really good job of pulling them away when they are taking damage. All right, now we fight. It's just like drones against a proxy. SCVs are fast. They have a lot of HP, but oh, there we go. SCV, oh, when SCVs start dying, ooh, one Marine went down. Another SCV died. Another SCV died. Uh, this, oh, Marine finally pops out here from Light. Wow, what a hold. That actually went pretty well for Light. But still, crazy thing. Ah, oh, the bunker finishes just exactly when you want it to. Okay, so everything's fine here. Factory on the way. Second base now just coming up. But factory done. All right, so Rush has got a factory done. He's got a second base way later, later than Light does. Uh, this might not work out for Light, actually, man. Your factory, it's just like getting a spawning pool a little bit later in a ZDZ. It's actually okay because you can get lings out and have a better economy and the lings will defend the aggressive lings that came on a worse economy from your enemy. So siege tank production has begun here from light. Oh, a vulture swung all the way down here. Hey, did not notice you probably should have. Oh, he gets two marine kills. Yeah, these SCDs should not be able to kill this thing. Not with insanely good second place ASL finisher rush micro here. Zip up. Oh, hang on. Do not die to these SCVs. I'm going to be so mad at you. And one more hit. And the Marine's going to die. Oh, my gosh. No! Marine gets another hit off. Just barely able to pull that off. Okay. Siege tank. Hoofing it across the map here. 
Siege mode's got to be on the way. Yes, there's going to be some siege pressure here for Light. He is getting a machine shop. He's getting a starport. Oh, I wonder if we want to defend with wraiths, maybe, against the potential... Oh, man. Oh, it is going to be two starports. We're always hiding the second starport, so it can't be scanned easily. I like this. Light's like, I'm just going to flip my barracks over. Ah, getting shot right in the face. And then the siege tank is here. And now that vulture is dead. Deader in a doornail. And bunker taking shots. This is not dragoons firing on your bunker. This is siege tank firing on your bunker. Barracks coming over. How many SCVs do you need to overcome the damage taken? And this, there's splash too. Oh my gosh. The bunker is going to fall. There's not a lot of marines left here to... This game is bonkers. Yep, this game definitely deserves the DEFCON 1 tag. Here from RJB. Oh, second siege tank. SCVs again. Getting pressed into service. They are taking big time splashes. However, getting surrounded by an SCV is, you know, they can kill a surprising number of things. SCVs if they surround you. And a wraith comes in. Yeah. Two more wraiths on the way here from Light, and that's going to shut this tank stuff down because there are no Marines. All the Marines were target fired specifically so the wraiths would get some more damage done. This is insane. Dude, where's your anti air for wraiths? It's like, I got an armory. Quick! Goliath production. Engage. Uh, Charon boost first. Then make Goliaths. Okay, that's fine, I guess. Wraith damage versus ground is actually embarrassing. So their ability to kill something, especially something that's being actively repaired, is not ideal. I think they would agree to that. So this is just buying time for Goliaths to come out. Uh, these wraiths not being here, going after these SCVs is a major boon for Rush. But eventually they're going to get here. They killed all the SCVs that were repairing. It's somehow 34 to 34 workers, despite the number of workers that have died on both sides being kind of aggressive. Honestly, but here come the Goliaths. And no, you never want to fight against Goliaths. Their whole job is doing anti-air. Yes, they can actually attack ground too, just like the Wraiths can. But, oh man, these Wraiths are fast. Thorough and sharp as attack. Touring the facilities and picking up slack here. Not enough to like one volley down an SCV, not even close. A couple workers die, still 34 to 35 SCVs. Pretty even. Both players have two bases. Both players have that second gas rolling. Cloak is on the way. But comsats exist for a reason. There are two scans available in case some cloaky wraiths show up here. And this is not bad, honestly. What do we got? Two kills, three kills. So five total kills among these three wraiths. So waiting launch orders. They got their launch orders. They were here to kill tanks and SCVs if they tried to repair the tanks. I like it. I like it a lot. Yeah, this has been a lot of fun. This is way more fun than everybody macros up and gets three bases, and then we set up tank lines. This is great. This is... Oh, and then he drops some siege tanks. Oh, and then the great cloak. There's your scan. There's one scan, Aruni. Great's going to wait until that wears off. Ow, taking hits, though. Bad news. And okay, too much was responding to this. Just getting out. 41 to 43 workers. Rush still has a lead despite taking some hits here. He's okay. Still trucking on. We are two base to two base in it right now. Ugh, this is nuts. Again, check it out. Check out the TVT, man. This is getting... Is there dropships? There are wraiths out already? Ah, uh, no, 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 no. Tank down. Ooh, wraith gets wiped out. This is a pretty strong push from Rush all of a sudden. But three tanks sieging up. Do you want to walk in a guess? Rush says, yes, I'd like to walk into this, sir. If you don't mind. Wraith lives. Ow. Good grief. Unseach siege tanks versus siege siege tanks. Never exactly what you want. But that's okay. Yeah, man. It is a tank massacre. There's two more tanks die. But all the anti-air is gone here. From Rush, he's like, do I have to worry about more wraiths? I I don't think you do, sir. I don't think there are any more wraiths that are going to show up here anytime soon. But 48 to 48 workers. I'm really impressed at the commitment to these players to keep fairly equal worker counts in this DVT. It's not easy to do that. 
Spider Mines on the way for both players and Vulture Speed on the way for both players. Light is ahead on the Vulture Speed, which is going to be nice. Goliaths show up, getting rid of this barracks. Not that he's using the barracks to produce, but... If the barracks dies, you need to make another barracks to make more factories, which you want to do. Because sitting here on three factories is not going to do it for you forever. Fourth factory is just popping up now, in fact. Third base being built on location from Rush. He's got a bit of an army here to protect it along this right side. And no upgrades. The armory was made. There you go. Plus one attack on the way. Armory was made as early as it was solely to get those Goliaths out. Uh, as a response to the wraiths, which were a response to the tanks, which were a response. Anyway, it's just, you know, it's fun. It's fun to see how a chain reactions occur from decisions made in a game of StarCraft, especially at this level. Clearing out some spider mines. They're free. Ah, lights back into wraiths here, intriguingly enough. And here comes a double drop. A double drop. Doo -doo, doo -doo. Four siege tanks. Oh man. Oh, but spider mines. Oh, no connection. This is such a good place to put tanks, too, man. Absolutely horrifying position for your enemy to put tanks. This is great. Rush is like, hey, wait, there's not a third base for light. This is fantastic. Let me try to keep that the case for a while here. As the siege tanks, ooh, getting hits on SCVs. It is still 55 to 56 workers. Every time I look at SCVs die and I check the worker count, it's about even. I, this is honestly crazy impressive stuff on both sides. But yeah, shutting down this third base. I don't know. Maybe light wants to trick it over here now. We have the miniest of mini tank lines here. Just three tanks versus four tanks. Plus spider mines and everything else. Uh, vultures can close the distance more quickly when they have the speed upgrade. Spider mines! No, do not do what Light wanted them to do, but did allow for a moment of distraction for Light's tanks to show up and get rid of these intruders. Excellent. Pretty good play there from Light. Clearing this out. This is still a problem. It's denying a lot of the mining from the natural base here from Rush, but he's got his third base. So he's like, you know what? I think I'm okay. Big old Maynard transfer of SCVs to the third base of Light. He's got, he is really two port wraithing here, isn't he? Suddenly giant wraith ball exists. He's had enough tanks to do this. Oh, then a couple of wraiths are out from Rush as well. Haha. <laughs> Whittling these things down, but guess who's coming? That's right. More wraiths. More wraiths to kill the two here of Rush. And squeeze! Wraith versus wraith battles. Well, more wraith versus... I guess they were wraiths, but they weren't really fighting back. It's more of an assassination than anything else. problem. This is a massive problem for Rush. The fact that Light's third base was later. Oh, but there's Goliaths. Okay, yeah, try to... Don't, again, again, Goliaths. Good anti... Anti-Wraith setup here. Fourth base coming up the right side here from Rush. Looks like uh, Rush is trying to prevent a fourth base from Light. The base denials have been a pretty solid theme today from Rush. This has just been really action-packed, man. TVTs in the current meta are a lot of fun. You get drops... You get active vulture stuff all over the place. It's really very little, just lines of siege tanks staring at each other. Oh, okay. We're going to open this door to ground attacks now by using splash damage to wipe out these stacked stasis cells <laughs> with Protoss in them. All gone, thanks to splash. Thanks to splash. Do -do 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 -do. Okay, so Rush is like... Mm. Must keep light down economically. Oh, I don't know. Light maybe wants to set up this top right. That'd be cool. Oh, Wraith attacks. Uh, did you bring enough for the class rush? He did. I think he brought enough just barely. Oh. 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 No, he didn't bring enough to wipe out the Wraith Ball. I didn't think he had enough. It was close, though. No siege tanks defending this base. All right. This base is toast. But no. Hang on. Swinging up the left side. 
Flank attack. Maybe going to be enough to shut this down. I don't know. Those tanks get sieged up in a pretty good spot from light. No big surprise there. Well, I mean, at the very least, you might be able to save this base, but at what cost is always the question. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Yeah, that's a liftoff. Nice. So good engagement here from light. There were tanks here. I don't know why he decided to move out this way, unless... I don't know. This is still a problem. This is still a problem. But I don't know. Maybe it's good for Rush. Maybe it's good that he's going to have minerals at his natural base for longer than Light's going to have minerals at his natural base, right? Looking at it from that perspective, that tank has one kill. This one has four kills. They are really looking down the barrel of serious death here. Well, it does take a while from a Wraith for a Wraith to kill a tank just because Wraith ground damage, as we've always said, is... Quite embarrassing. A Valkyrie on the way from light. That's fun. Okay. Tank threat gone. It's been here for like five minutes. I feel like these tanks showed up a while ago, man. So, big picture. 67 to 58 workers. Rush has taken a worker lead despite this stuff. It, man, this macro has just been through the roof today. And now Cloaked Wraith Ball says, what up, drop ships? And then the Valkyries are like, what up, Wraiths? And the Wraiths are like, nope. Ow, okay, we're all dead now. Man, what, what a great play. What an absolutely disgustingly great play there from Light. Just getting a couple of Valks out. But the dropships did get scouted. He was going for some kind of a big old Doom Drop there and totally got seen by Rush. And now he's like, um, do we still want to do this? I don't know. I don't know that we do. So army value is about the same, and light is down about 10 workers, so his army is bigger. But, and he does have this fourth base in the top right, of which these SCBs are not working. Go! Holy crap, why are there so many guys not working there? I don't know. His income struggled there mightily, for sure. Hmm, so Rush doesn't have the bottom left, so it is four base to four base here on Neo Dark Origin. Upgrades, plus one attack for mech for both sides here at 17 minutes. Not a massive priority to get those upgrades going super high. But, it, <laughs> I don't know. Really hoping so for some spider mine connections here is Rush. Not working, I don't think. Oh, okay. That was a decent connection anyway. Ooh, another. Okay, so every tank but one dies. That might be worth, actually. That might be great. Why are there just vultures down here? I don't know. I don't know what they're up to. They're just hanging. One thirty to one thirty-eight, dude. It's seventy to fifty-eight workers. Rush is killing it on worker count. Maybe to the point that I feel like he has too many. But again, his natural mineral situation is better than lights not on purpose but because of what light has been doing so it looks like light wants to go for a fifth base and i don't is rush even trying to expand down here kind of kind of i reckon so again worker count Higher for Rush by about 10, but the army value is pretty similar. So it just means that Light has more army stuff. Uh, Light has the plus two attack on his mech. Rush doesn't. He's way behind on vehicle weapon upgrades right now. Tons of turrets being produced. Six turrets at a time here by Rush. Some of them are over here where he's going to go for his fifth base in the bottom left corner. Some of them are up here at his fourth base, keeping it alive. And I don't know if Rush wants to mount an assault. Uh, it looks like he very much wants to mount an assault here, but... Don't know. Holy drop down this left way, which did get spotted. And you're flying into turrets, bro. All right. Flying into turrets. Trying to get some spider mines down. They're unloading the tanks anyway, friend. Yeah. So this isn't even a base to kill. It's a couple missile turrets and a trench coat pretending to be a base. Let's see what you can do is hold this high ground and then sneak down this way and get more attacks on the natural. If you're very, very careful. A 
I don't know what else we do with these drop ships. Except, this has been spider mind all to get out. So unloading here would seem like a bad idea. Whoa! Alright, cool. So we are going to mount an assault on this fifth base attempt of Light. Rush is trying to get up this ramp, but... That 50% miss rate is really coming into play here. However, tank count by light getting reduced quite insanely. And these guys are like, we don't want to unload here. Where do we go to unload? I don't know. We're flying through missile turret Goliath danger zone. Finally unloads in this position. Wow. Big time unload in this position. Says we'll take all comers. Left side, right side, top side. We will fire upon all of you. We have plus two attack upgrades with plus three on the way. So Light holds onto this base and gets a nice little foothold here, threatening the production of the main base from Rush and the natural base of Rush, which has been threatened so much today. This is just a no-fly zone right now. No-go zone for citizens of the Dominion. They've received an official warning from Mengsk about that. But like no mining going on that natural base at all from Rush. I mean, none happening here for Light, but that's because he's mined it out. Rush still hasn't mined out his natural. It's like a Zerg player or something. Okay, this just high ground makes this a bad tank position for you, Rush. I'm just going to throw this out there. Finally, Rush has plus two, but plus three is finishing up momentarily for Light. Science Vessel out here, too, from Light know that Rush has his own science vessels? Which, it does save on scans. Rush says, I know how to deal with this. I'm gonna do some dropping of my own. As the tank line is getting challenged by Light, this unloads it to reinforce the tank line. Make, it sure, make sure that Light doesn't want to come down here, but Light's economy is just better. However, yeah, he's up 170 to 138 overall supply. Rush is not even really trying to take this bottom left. And I I just, I feel like he should. I don't know what else to... The numbers, Mason. They're, they're very simple. Light has taken his half of the map, and Rush has not taken his half of the map. That's it. So, Rush, what do you got, man? Can you turn this around somehow? Can you kill a base? Can you take a base of your own? Everything that he's doing makes it seem like he's happy with his spot. He's just, I'm happy, kind of holding the center of the map, defending my fourth base, pressuring this fifth base of light, but that's about it. I mean, I guess he has a lot of dropships, and these dropships are probably going somewhere. Just kidding, they're coming right back. Nope, they're gonna unload high ground. Try to get light off of his front porch. I mean, they're not actively threatening the command center here all that much, but still, getting rid of them just makes you feel better about yourself and you can sleep more easily at night. 186 to 167 supply, light is up. It's just, it's light's game to lose right now. Economically, positionally, He's not really being threatened by anything that Rush is doing. He is being the one who knocks. He's sacrificing SCVs because he's like, I don't need this many workers. I'd like to have more army supply. And Rush is like, that's not good for me. However, he's also just kind of letting Rush take this bottom left base, which I, if I was light, I would do everything in my power to make sure that doesn't happen. But he just lets it happen. Maybe because it's so late. I don't know. Maybe it's because it's so late. We're lifting the command center from the natural base, throwing it bottom left for a fifth is Rush. And now the map's been split in half, so maybe it doesn't matter that Rush didn't have even economy for the last, you know, five or six minutes. Maybe it just doesn't matter. Maybe he can catch up because there's the 200 unit limit max. And now Light just kind of has to sit here and wait for Rush to catch up. I guess so. I mean, this game really started out with a bang. A proxy racks into quick siege tanks off of one base. And then uh, wraiths into early Goliaths. I mean, and then we got Valkyries to handle the wraiths that were response to the other wraiths. I mean, it's just been 
But a pretty fun little TVT here so far. And ooh, the sneakitude, man. The absolute sneak attack to down the right side. Light gets the position he was going for, though. He simultaneously can threaten this third base, forcing the liftoff on the command center. And the fourth base of Rush taking Siege Tank shots, too. What a beautiful spot for Light to set up shopping. <laughs> oh, that is absolutely beautiful. Rush is in a bad way. Rush says, all right, we got to go. Let's go. He's just going to push right up the middle into Light's admittedly depleted forces because a lot of his stuff is over here. All right, are we base racing? Is that what this is right now? Oh, he does. He drops inside the main base of Light while Rush's main base gets dropped by Light. Cool. So it's a base race here at 26 minutes. That makes it exciting for sure. Light still has just more stuff. And he's got plus three in the tanks for... Ow, nice spider mine hit. For Rush, I've got plus two. Upgrade advantage, big. Production facilities dying for both at similar rates. Rush gets supply blocked more quickly as a lot of supply depots for him inside the main base go down. His factories are now in direct line of tank fire. The factories of light. Some of them going down. Yeah, that one just got wiped out. Uh, this is both. I mean, it's funny because the mining is still happening quite nicely. Uh, nobody's bases, well, I guess except for this one and this one. I'm a giant liar. So that's it. So Rush has lost two of his mining bases. Both players are losing their production. I don't know. I can't remember the last time I had a TBT base race. Not that I cast a lot of TBTs, though. I guess that's the bigger concern, right? Yeah, Rush is just setting up shop here in the main base of Light. Uh, Light needs to bring these tanks down. Oh, there are some tanks defending for Rush, though. <gasps> That's huge. It's allowing him to use his factories. Oh, man. Way more easily. Dude, Light's ability to make stuff is really degraded right now. That's big. He is floating a ton of cash because he's supply blocked into next week. And his factories are either dead or floating. Every single one is either dead or floating. And Rush is just like, well, I could still make stuff. I don't have as much money as you do, but if I can make stuff and you can't, eventually I can catch up, right? The third CC for Rush goes down. It sucks, but we can live with that. These ta The denial of this fourth base has been massive, too, for Light, though. I think both players can still win this game. They've both got about 150 supply. This income for Rush is everything to him right now. He might as well mine these minerals. Just, I guess the command center's gone. Never mind. Right. I knew that. Okay. So, main base for Rush lives. Rush's ability to mine minerals is not great. And did those factories make it over here? Do they all get chased down and die? I thought a couple of them would make it out. Noob! Oh, big drop here. I don't know who's going to win this one. Cloaked Race from Light joined this party. Are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? There are still a couple of Cloaked Race. They're going after the drop ships. Fly over turrets. Why are you not flying over turrets? Because you were given the command just to come this way. And now, okay, well. I mean, not even any revenge either. Okay. Yeah, I guess Light could still make Wraith. That's why he has Wraiths, because his starports were still alive. <laughs> They're dead now, though. Light does not have the capability to make stuff other than SCVs. Is Rush going to win this thing by just killing the enemy production and keeping his alive and keeping his meager income? Oh, this is nuts. Light is going to die with, like, 10,000 minerals and... 5,000 gas, and he's going to be really upset about it. But, dude, that's what happens when you lose your production facilities, and your enemy doesn't lose theirs. I love this. He's just bringing up... Yeah, this is like... We are just turtling up here super hard. Or going for a... Uh, yeah, just turtling. So, yeah, I have my two bases. This one, top right. This one, left side. But... And he's supply blocked... I don't even know, dude. He is... There we go. He's back to square one. He's got to build a barracks to get factory production going again. 
You're just rebuilding the main. Rush just let him have this. Rush was like, you know, if you want to rebuild in your main, that's okay. I'm not going to leave anything behind here. I'm not going to leave a single vulture or a wraith or anything. You can have it, man. Dude, if Rush loses this game... It's going to come down to the fact that Rush just let Light rebuild inside the main base that Rush had killed three minutes ago. What a weird idea. Dude, you cannot let him do this. He can't keep getting away with this. Dude, Rush. Rush. Friend. Amigo. Namana. Ugh, Ami. Let's go. Oh, this is all happening right under Russia's nose. Right under Russia's nose. Light goes Korean words. GG. What? And he drops. Okay. We have to Google Translate the heck out of that. Who's that? All right. All right. All right. We'll come back. We'll come back here. Russia's like, what do you have? Rush gets the win. <laughs> I I don't feel great about that. Let's translate that Korean. But man, hit that like button. Hit that subscribe if you enjoyed that game. That was... Phew. Anytime both players lose their mains entirely, it's a good game. And I cannot believe that Light was allowed on some level to retake his main base. I guess he's just like, these tank lines are getting closer. I don't have a lot of tanks left. You can't mine it all from here because of these tank positions. It's really good, but this base is still going. This base is still going. Oh my gosh. Yeah, that's it. That's it. What the heck? Come on. Translate. Oh my gosh. Translate for me. Google Lens, why are you not translating? GG. <laughs> Go back in time again. Oh, because I was on homework instead of translate. That's dumb. Times two speed. There we go. My brother is going. What? Young Jin, uh, my brother is going, says Light. Rush goes, what? <laughs> Did... <laughs> no, 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 no. Did Light have a real life concern pop up and he couldn't finish the game? Is that what happened here? Oh, I don't know if Google Translate got that right. Someone, I do have some Korean uh, speaking viewers. So if you want to translate that for me and see if Google screwed up. It does feel like that though, right? It fits the narrative. It totally fits the narrative of Light could have kept going. He had income. He was rebuilding his entire base. He had his production going. Rush was letting him do it, which is hilarious. But then he's like, ah, no, uh, you know. I had a plan to go out drinking with my brother, and he's here, so I gotta go. Bye. <laughs> That's what that was. Man, this started with a proxy, too. What a game. What a game. 238,000 points to 205,000 points. Light had the lead. Rush out producing Light, getting out killed by Light. And pretty similar numbers. Both players killing about 50 to 60 buildings, and Light outspending Rush by about 1,000 resources, which... That's uh, that's pretty good in a mirror matchup for sure for 31 minutes. But yeah, it really did feel like Light, through the grace of Rush not checking Light's main base, could have won that game. But he had to go. What a weird ending. Man, I would have loved to see that actually be played out a little bit better. But again, I could be wrong about this. So again, if you want to translate that for me, I'll pin your comment. And if you want to know what the words were, check the pinned comment. I guess that works. So, GG.
All right, nice. So that's going to be it for me today. This has been Falcon Paladin coming at you with yet another edition of StarCraft Brood War Remastered. Go ahead, hit that like button, hit that subscribe. If you like what you saw and what you heard today, you can also catch me on Twitter, Facebook, Patreon, and Twitch, all at slash Falcon Paladin. And until next time, as always, thank you so much for watching, and you take care of yourself.